Despite opposition, Parliament approved a $300 million loan from the IDA to finance the 2024 budget after heated debates. The loan is to finance aspects of the 2024 budget. The minority in Parliament rejected a loan at the committee level, raising a number of concerns. These concerns were re echoed on the floor of the House. Mr. Speaker, it will be very difficult for us as a country and parliamentarians who are supposed to protect the press and play oversight to sit down and we are dashing one group about 449 million US dollars. And then on another breath, we are running here to look for another 450 million as loans where we will have to pay with our toil and sweat. It doesn't make sense anyway. It doesn't make sense anyway that you dash this money and then you are also seeking loan to do about the same thing. The Minister for Finance intervened, agreeing to some concessions before the loan was passed. I assured honourable colleagues on the other side that I will take a review of the exemptions and come back to Parliament. But I also know that they have concerns about some specific projects. And so I'll be happy they share with me those projects they have issues with. Earlier, the House observed a minute silence in honour of the passing of a Jusso MP, Dr. John Kuma. I want to plead with you to grant me the opportunity to ask colleagues to join hands and observe a minute silence for our departed brother. As a mother, I cannot speak without doing this. His seat has been isolated and draped in red. According to the Constitution in Article 112, whenever a vacancy occurs in Parliament, the Clerk of Parliament shall notify the Electoral Commission in writing within seven days after becoming aware that the vacancy has occurred, and a by-election shall be held within 30 days after the vacancy occurred, except that where the vacancy occurred through the death of a member, the by-election shall be held within 60 days after the occurrence of the vacancy. Parliament is yet to be officially informed of Dr. John Kumar's passing. Debate on the message on the state of the nation uh, presented by the President to Parliament a couple of days ago was supposed to have been wrapped up by the majority and the minority leaders today, but priority rather was given to the approval of a loan agreement uh, amounting to some $300 million uh, from the International Development Authority. Because of that, the debate could not be finalized. Duke Mensopoku, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.